new headline discussed around the kitchen tables tonight about autism. We know that one in 88 children are diagnosed with the disorder, and this new study suggests that about a flu during a pregnancy can increase a child's risk. And ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, here with the whole picture right now. So many pregnant couples are going to be in fear because of this. Rich, what, what do you want to say to them? Well, what this study found was that moms who remembered having the flu during pregnancy, the risk of having an autistic child doubled. It went from 1% up to 2%. So still very, very small. And this type of study is called an exploratory study. So it doesn't prove anything, but it says, hey, we need to look at this further. But let's take a look at some of the other risk factors we've heard about over yeah. time. Where does this rank with them? Well, you know, it, it's, it's along the same level. We have some clues. Genetic factors are very important. We know that autism runs in families. It's more common in boys. Those point to genetics. Parents' age matters. As fathers in particular get older and hit 40, the risk goes up. And then spacing between pregnancies. If you have children closer than every, every three years, the risk goes up too. Lots of clues, no hard answers. But you want to reassure everybody tonight about that 2% and the 98%? That's right. You know, that's a very small number. Women who, who had the flu during pregnancy don't need to worry about this. They should get a flu shot, though, if they're pregnant because they're at great risk for the flu.